Alright everybody, welcome back to the second channel. This is my second channel. It is not my main channel. This is where I like to get a little bit goofier, a little bit wackier, a little bit unscripted. I might do something crazy. I don't have a script, baby. I'm not playing by the rules over here. And today, of all days, I am going to be jumping back into the subreddit. It has been a long time since I've been in the subreddit. The last video I made was 10 months ago. 10 months was the last subreddit video, but I'm back like nothing ever happened. Crack open a sparkling water and get ready to sit back, relax, and let's go through some memes. Mm. Oh yes, baby, that water is sparkly. First post, does Danny come here anymore? Has he forsaken us? Yeah, probably a lot of you are confused why I haven't made a subreddit video in a long time. I don't know. I've been, I've come to the subreddit occasionally to look at the post and I haven't seen anything that I'm like super interested in talking about, but it's been so long at this point that I feel bad for not like checking in. It, I think it'd be nice to check in here every once in a while. I don't think I'm going to make subreddit videos super often. I've kind of been focusing on this channel more on other types of videos, as you can probably tell, I've been posting a lot more on here. But I do think that every once in a while, it's nice to go on here and just say, what's up? And just kind of say, how's it going? And so that's what we're, uh, do that's what we're gonna do here today. Okay, I'm gonna go top, and then I'm gonna go, maybe I should go this year, because it's been 10 months. Oh wow, nine months ago was the <laughs> fake Minecraft speedrun. I haven't done a subreddit video in a long time, dude. This was so long ago. Well, yeah, that was a really fun video. Honestly, maybe the most proud of a video I've ever been. I think that that video turned out really good. I am actually shocked that I pulled that off. It could be the greatest trick of all time. And it was all just, <laughs> just to fuck with Curtis. So yeah, I'm super proud of that. Okay, I guess 10 months ago, the whole Titanic submersible thing was happening. And I saw this <laughs> video getting posted around a lot. Just found out about the Titanic. Why would they get on that boat? Haven't they seen the movie? I, I saw that clip getting posted around so much when the whole submersible thing was going on. And a lot of the posts had like a ton of likes. Which is kind of crazy because that's like one of my least popular songs. Because I made it for a re-uploaded version of a video. So a lot of people probably didn't see it. But it's called Sad and Deep. I think I kind of went off on that song. Danny's not slick. And it appears to be some kind of ancient <laughs> statue. All right, guys, yes. I'll admit it, I did travel back in time and become the Emperor of Rome. Sorry. I guess I have to spoil my new video early, but yes, I did I did trick my audience once again. So who is this? Oh, okay, at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. But who is he? Is he Victoria? Is he Albert? I named my cat Greg even though my whole family hates it. He is truly Greg. What the hell? Why does your whole family hate your cat? Looks like a really cute cat. Please compliment him. Well, I guess I just did. There you go. You didn't even have to ask. I'm not even focused on the Greg thing. Why does your family hate this cat? I feel like that requires so much more explanation. To get things straight, do they hate the cat or the name? Oh, the name. Don't worry. They love him. What? I named my cat Greg even though my whole family hates it. Okay. I feel like this was worded in a way that makes it seemed like they hate the cat. But I guess I could see how I maybe may have misread that. Guys, I named my cat Greg despite the fact that my whole family wants to kill my cat. Every time that cat walks through the house, my family spits on him and tries to light him on fire. Can you toss me a like? You guys like my pride flag? <laughs> Danny Gonzalez is so cool, I wish he was real. Dude, that's an awesome decoration for your room. I don't even know where you got this, cause like, I don't sell it, so you- <laughs> I don't know if like some random store sells this as counterfeit merch, or if you made this custom, but I think you're probably the only person on the planet that has anything like this in their room, so that's pretty cool. Wherever you did get it, I might have to cop it myself and put it in my room. I think Laura would love that. Put one in my baby's nursery, <laughs> convince him that I'm not real. Okay, this is kind of funny. Why is Danny so fine, bro? Which first off, thank you. That's very sweet. But <laughs> the picture you posted, I guess just the first picture, but the first picture you posted is me covering my face with my hand. Dude, look at that Danny guy. He's so sexy. What's up, guys? <laughs> What's going on? Did someone say sexy? <laughs> Something about him is so hot when he's covering his entire face. What could he be planning? And then it's me asking if anybody that follows me develops apps. So actually, this video is already out and it has been for months, so I guess people know what I was planning now. This is the, the fake, um, one sec. Sorry, <laughs> drank too much sparkling water. Now my breath is sparkling. Yeah, this is the video where I made the fake AI app. Um, that was a super fun video. Uh, let's see what people thought I was planning. It's kind of interesting to see whenever I'm doing a, a little sneaky move like this to see people theorize about it. So let's see, now that we have the hindsight. Jeremy Renner app two, 
to Jeremy to Renner. Not a bad idea. Would it be illegal to make my own Jeremy Renner app? Uh, probably not, right? You can make like a fan club for someone else. It would be a weird thing to do, don't get me wrong, but illegal? <laughs> it, it may also be that. Probably wanting to make his own weird mobile games. That's actually a pretty good idea. I've thought about doing that before. Maybe I'll do that in the future. He's building a bomb. <laughs> He's asking for app developers because he wants them to build him a bomb. He's gonna make a bunch of people download an app a seemingly innocuous app on their phone, and it's actually gonna be a bomb app that makes people's phones blow up. That's smart. My baby is only soothed by Danny's music, and I'm not even joking. Let's check it out. <laughs> That's so cute, dude, what the hell? I haven't even showed my own baby my music yet. Maybe I should now. That's so cute. Honestly, it's probably just the fact that you're holding a phone in front of their face. I feel like babies are mesmerized by that sort of thing. Any giant screen or anything, babies go crazy for that type of stuff. Whenever we're at a store or a restaurant that has a screen, the baby has gotta be looking at it. Baby cannot be reached. Babies gotta look at the screen. All right, well, person who posted that, if your baby's watching this right now, I'll sing for them so that they'll stop crying. Ready? Hey, little baby, stop crying now. Hey, little baby, turn that frown upside down. Hey, little baby, don't poop your pants. Hey, little baby, do the poopy dance. You know what, even if you're not this person, if you have a baby, go ahead and show them that. Um, I want to see if this is like a universal baby thing. And that was off the dome, in case you were wondering. That was totally freestyled. I'm really good at freestyling baby songs now, dude. You wouldn't believe it. The skills that fatherhood brings, unparalleled. Okay, someone else posted a cat and said, what should I name this bad boy? Hmm, I'm trying to think of an original cat name. Uh, maybe Greg? Uh, I guess it depends what you should name it. Does your family hate the cat or not? Do they want the cat dead? And like it's crazy what your idea of fatherhood is like before you have a baby. This is a, this is actually what I thought it was going to be like to have a baby. I thought we were going to be getting high and flying around together, and I was right. I was honestly so curious about how this part of the slime music video was recorded. I figured it was edited, but I guess not. No, that was uh, that was crazy. So if you haven't seen the slime music video, I mean, the shot is basically what it looks like. It's my face in slime. I think we did like just came up with that towards the end of the shoot, and we were like, could we just fill a bathtub with slime? and then me be in it, and we did. So that was kind of like a last minute decision, but I think it definitely added a lot to the video. I don't know if I've ever said before, but all of that slime in the video is vanilla pudding with green food dye in it. We got like gigantic paint bucket sized things of vanilla pudding and mixed green food coloring in with it. So that's the consistency that it was. It smelled great honestly because it was just vanilla pudding and also it you know if it ended up in your mouth hey it's just pudding that i have been soaking in so i guess that it's kind of gross but dude i should start selling that who was that streamer that was selling bath water i gotta start selling bath pudding who's gonna buy my bath slime no memes this no memes that can we all just congratulate danny and laura on their journey into parenthood oh my gosh dude I haven't looked in this picture in a while, but his hand is so tiny. His hand is much bigger now. It's still, it's not like an adult size hand, but you know, this was, he was like a few days old when we took this picture. Oh man, that's so sweet. Thank you guys. Yeah, honestly, being a parent is, I mean, any parent will tell you this, but it's literally the best. It's so crazy that there's this little guy who just, loves us and depends on us and we get to just like care for him every day and watch him grow up it's so cool and um he's a really sweet baby being a dad top aspect of my life right now it's just so cool it's so fulfilling it's so sweet i've only been a dad for like six months but it's already the best thing about my life. Thank you for all the well wishes. Everybody is healthy. He's doing so good. He's progressing just as babies should. So um, yeah, all in all, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Oh, speaking of babies, funny story. It's not that funny, but I'm gonna tell it anyway. So the tactical stroller, we still have it. It's at my parents' house. My parents live uh, in Texas. And so we wanted to make sure that we had a stroller that was there when we go visit them. And we just did that for the first time. So I actually got to use the tactical stroller with 
our baby in it for the first time. The experience was, well, in some ways better than it was when I was reviewing it in the video. I didn't trip over the stroller at all this time. I know I did that a few times in the actual video. I will say it still was not like a super nice stroller. We have a very nice stroller now that was gifted to us. It's called the Uppa Baby Vista. And I think it's around the same price as the tactical stroller. And honestly, I hate to say it, but it is a lot nicer than the tactical stroller. Now keep in mind, I did shoot the tactical stroller with a paintball gun and I tripped over it many times. So maybe it's not in the best shape, but still I really prefer our stroller. And um, weirdly, it's not as girly looking as the tactical baby company made it seem like it would be. It's just like a black stroller. I don't even have to worry about looking like a woman when I walk the baby. Okay, let's go maybe top of this week now just to see what's happening in here lately. Me and my twin sister 16th birthday cake featuring Danny and Drew. That is very cute. And a happy birthday to you and yours. Every time Danny says H. Had I who had to hear? Have to had to hear? Whole hates them. How kids hate their parents. The hates are hates are cut. Oh, heard me. <laughs> Dude, this is awesome. I've always wondered what this would be like if it was just me saying words that start with H. <laughs> Why on earth would you do this? And how could you possibly have the patience to do this? You are my hero. I took a fast ass nap in the middle of making this. Whoa. Neither answered nor acknowledged what this person said. <laughs> They said, why would you do this? And how could, um, oh, I guess they answered, how could you do this? By taking a nap in the middle of making this. Okay. As to why, we will never know. That is pretty epic though. Who is Robert? I don't see enough people talking about this, but who is this Robert guy helping Danny with second channel content? I'm calling it. We're gonna get a video like, I hired a content guy to make content for me, but you're not gonna fool me, Danny. I've caught you. <laughs> Yeah, I sort of realized that I never really explained who Robert is. Robert is a comedian that I hired a few years ago to just help me like find ideas for videos. He uh, helps me outline and write videos. He's been doing this for a few years now just cause I have always felt like the hardest part of doing this is finding things to talk about. So that's the reason that I brought him on and he's been mostly helping me with the main channel up until very recently. He's been helping a ton with the second channel. Basically, when we were getting ready to have the baby. I was kind of stressed because I was like, I'm not going to be able to post videos as much because I'm going to want to be spending a lot of time with the baby. So I was trying to figure out a way where I could post more, but not have to do as much of the background work. So I was like, well, a good compromise would be I'll just post on the second channel. So for those, I don't really need to be the person outlining those videos. I just need to be the person like doing the commentary live reacting kind of thing. So Robert has been doing a lot of those videos just like, you know, we'll come up with topics and then he'll just go through and find like a bunch of TikToks for me to watch or YouTube videos. Um, and that has been so helpful for me posting more often. It turns out that this has helped so much that I'm actually like posting more now than I was before I had the baby just cause this is such an efficient system. He also is a stand-up comedian and he has a TikTok account, which is how I found him, but he's super talented and very helpful. All right, well, I think that's a good spot to call it. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad I got to get on here and do another subreddit video, just like old times. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, bye bye